100 And I know I'm gonna keep you 100 So good for feed the life I need Hi and welcome to another episode of Your Guide on Ghana. My name is Ivy Prosper and I thank you for tuning in today. If it's your first time seeing one of my videos and if you enjoy it, I hope that you would take the time to subscribe at the end of the video. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about a video that was sent to me um, about uh, infectious disease and isolation, infectious disease and isolation center that is being built um, here in Ghana. Now, many of you know that the whole world, not many of you, all of you should know, the whole world is dealing with a pandemic right now. And a lot of people had not had much faith in African countries and how they would handle this pandemic. And much to everyone's surprise, um, a lot of countries in Africa have had less of um, fatalities and um, less of an impact of the disease of COVID-19 as the rest of the world. Now, the numbers are increasing in Ghana and in other countries on the continent of Africa, um, but the death rates are still remaining quite low. Um, but they are preparing um, for the future because Although this pandemic, you know, we're, we're what, six, more than six months into this situation right now, um, you never know what could happen in the future, whether it's with this or with another disease. So um, Ghana is currently working on um, building an infectious disease and isolation center to help treat patients of COVID-19 and in the future, if there's any other diseases that they feel are warranted to keep people in isolation and in treatment in this particular facility. Now you can help support this cause by donating to the Ghana COVID-19 private sector fund. I will put the information on how you can donate in the description box of the video that you can get and you can contact them to make your donation if you wanna support this cause. Um, it is um, a really, really important thing to help um, as much as you can. Um, anyone from around the world, if you wanna donate, the information is there. Now I'm going to cut to the video. Very impressive, very cost-effective project, and um, um, I'm not worried about the timing. But it's like you could see this typical Ghanaian at work. It's more than that, and uh, we'll also do a bit to support the cause. Honestly, um, you have us as one of your advocates. We we'll go out there and make sure that we also solicit for funds to get this one done, as well as Ghana Kumasi. For me, I think I'm generally impressed, uh, and particularly with the sense of agency and the timeliness with which everyone here is working is impressive. It shows that as Ghanaians, if we put our minds to anything, we are able to achieve it. You see those painting, you see somebody fixing something, you can see that there's that desire to see this thing work. And for us, that's really a thing that we are interested in. So thumbs up to every single person who has put in their efforts, not just those who donated money, but then those on the ground who are working, sweeping here and there. It's really a delight to see all these things. Now that was awesome, wasn't it? Um, as I said, I'll put all the details in the description box so that you can make your donation to help support the cause. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Yeah, we keep it coming.